Out of his whole arsenal of characters that Nicolas Cage has played over the years, I have to admit, his performance as Ghost Rider was phenomenal. It was just a pop culture icon moment for the actor, and his interpretation of Ghost Rider with his jelly bean martinis garnered quite the attention. It also pushed a lot of young fans to get into the dark and gritty story of Ghost Rider and marvel at his incredible power. But as the days went by and the fan base grew in size, the new fans wanted something fresh. A new take on the character and the powers would have been interesting. And this is when we got Alejandra Jones, the female Ghost Rider. Since her introduction in the first issue of Ghost Rider published in 2011, Alejandra has garnered quite a cult following. So in today's video, we will learn a little bit more about her and her experiences as the Judge of Souls, the Ghost Rider. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Alejandra's path to Ghost Rider. When it comes to Alejandra, very little is known about her past. However, whatever we do know about her is quite sad, and we can sort of understand why she is the way she is. So, Alejandra was an orphan. She grew up with a man called Adam, and he was obviously not her father, but he never really showed that much of a fatherly affection toward her. Whenever she asked about her real family, Adam always informed her rather crudely that there was nothing about her past that was flashy or special. She will not get one of those fairy tale-esque past lives that would unfold and make her someone important. Obviously, these types of words would hurt a child and give them an existential crisis. This led to Alejandra always wondering who she was and what her purpose on this earth was. If she has a predestined goal for herself, and if so, what could it be? Adam, however, did give her a purpose, and that was to become the Ghost Rider. Once she became the Ghost Rider, Alejandra eventually met her biological father, whom she had no idea about. Turns out, her father was a human trafficker who, in his free time, slept with a lot of Mexican women. One such woman was Alejandra's mother. Once the woman got pregnant and had babies, Jones would sell his children too, just for a quick buck. Alejandra did shut him up quickly by cleansing him of his sins, leading him to becoming a husk of the man he was. So, I would say that was good for her. Her terrifying beginning as a ghost rider. Now let's learn how Alejandra became the ghost rider, shall we? So when Joan sold Alejandra off, she was taken in by Adam, and he took her to a temple in Nicaragua. There, she was trained along with several other orphans to be the next vessel for the spirit of vengeance. When Adam met with Johnny Blaze, he was able to convince Johnny to give up his curse. This led to Adam reviving the Seeker, who chose Alejandra out of the group of orphans to be the next Ghost Rider. After that, she was sent to Ohio to fight Scardi, Red Skull's daughter. Although the fight was quite hard, and at first Alejandra was dominating it, sadly, she lost it. While she was in Ohio, Johnny Blaze learned the real reason why Adam wanted her to be the Ghost Rider. Turns out, Adam wanted to wipe away the sins of all humanity. This was a bad idea, as it would turn every human into this emotionless creature. Johnny realized that while he selfishly gave away his curse to the wrong person. So, he decided that he should do his best to get Adam as far away as possible from the Ghost Rider. When Adam and Alejandra returned to Nicaragua after the fight with Scardi, Adam wanted her to wipe out the sins of all her fellow friends. Alejandra refused, which led to Adam manipulating her until she became sort of like a bomb. When she exploded, she basically judged the souls of everyone in Nicaragua and wiped away their sins. Johnny also showed up in the scene, and when the Seeker learns the true reason behind Alejandra being chosen as the Ghost Rider, he joins hands with Johnny to stop them. Johnny was saved from the blast that Alejandra released because of the Seeker. Then Adam decides to take Alejandra into a space station with him. Why? Because from outer space, it would be easier for Alejandra to focus all her energy on the whole of Earth. Johnny, on the other hand, was chasing after them with a bike. Yes, a bike to the space station that was out and about in Earth's atmosphere. See, Johnny was told about everything by Mephisto, and when Mephisto learned that Alejandra had been taken to space, he gave Johnny a bike that would take him out into space. Johnny wanted to take the Seeker too, 
but he soon realized that the seeker was not going to be helpful. So he ditched him and went alone. He was a little late and he could not stop Alejandra from releasing her powers. However, as he was the ghost rider before her, he was able to give her words of encouragement and tell her to take control of the power. Alejandra was touched by his words and took control of her powers. Once she got control, she blew up the space station and came back down to Earth, keeping Johnny safe. She wanted to give the Nicaraguan people their souls back, the ones she had taken when she was turned into a bomb, but she did not want to be bound to Johnny, so she took off on her own trying to figure things out. However, when she was unable to get their souls back, she was forced to reach out to the Seeker. The Seeker told her that their souls would be given back if she could get their sin from hell. The best way to go about it would be to take Johnny Blazer's help as he was in touch with Mephisto. On the other hand, Adam did not die in the explosion. He somehow managed to survive and decided to show up with Steel Wind and Steel Vengeance, the two sisters who were part human and part cyborg, and had a sort of hatred towards Ghost Rider. Alejandra was trying to track down Blaze when she realized that he was being tracked by Hawkeye as well. Hawkeye thought that the Nicaragua incident was Johnny's fault and wanted to take him in. However, Alejandra came to his aid and saved him from Hawkeye. Before she could actually save him, all three of them got transported to Japan via a portal. Steel Vengeance and Steel Wind were the culprits behind that. Adam wanted them to bring Alejandra to him. However, once they saw Blaze, they were consumed by their need for vengeance and took off with Blaze. Alejandra tried to go after him, but before she could, Hawkeye shot her with an amulet, which effectively got rid of her powers. Hawkeye went after Blaze himself, but as he had grossly underestimated the cyborg sister, he was defeated soon enough, and Alejandra had to be the one to save him after she took out the arrow from her chest. With that, Johnny decided to help her with her new role as the Ghost Rider. Entangled in the Circle of Four So now that Alejandra was Johnny's student, there had to be challenges she had to face, and oh boy, did she face some challenges. Blackheart, the son of Mephisto, decided to unleash Hell on Earth, which is a great plan from his perspective. So he decided to gather all the anguished souls he could and use them to open a portal. Now Alejandra, who was the ghost rider, was able to sense the souls and she wanted to go there. Johnny told her not to, but she was not going to listen. She went to Las Vegas and soon enough, she was in front of the portal. Now the portal has actually not been activated, but Alejandra did not know that. She used her bike and rode around the portal thinking her powers would help her shut it down. Instead, it activated the portal to its full-fledged glory. So, now that the portal was open, Hell had access to Earth. You would think that if she stopped riding, effectively cutting off the power source, things would be okay. But no. It turns out, if she stopped riding, the portal would sort of act like a vacuum cleaner and suck up the whole of Earth. Blaze obviously had followed her, and when he realized what type of a predicament she was in, he decided to step in. He had brought an amulet from Hawkeye and used it to stop the territory of Hell from expanding. He then approached Alejandra and took her place because she had the power to stop Blackheart. Blackheart is predominantly the villain in Ghost Rider stories. However, if you have ever wondered if he would have fared well when facing Red Hulk, X-23, or Venom, then look no further. Turns out, all three of them were in Vegas at the time this was happening, and in order to save Earth, they all teamed up against Blackheart. However, Blackheart came prepared. He had a mirror that he used to create opposite but equal matched opponents for each of the heroes, effectively keeping them busy while he tried to get his portal working again. He sent his gargoyle girlfriend to go and see what was stopping the portal from working. The girlfriend came over, and the moment the Ghost Rider spotted her, she gave chase. Blackheart showed up to aid his distressed girlfriend. He saw the Ghost Rider, and because he knew what she could be wanting for the most in the world, he offered her the souls of the Nicaraguan people if she chose to join him. The offer was tantalizing enough, but that did not stop the Ghost Rider from chasing away the gargoyle girlfriend of his. At this moment, Blackheart used uses his mirror and creates the opposite of Ghost Rider, an angel called Icor, who follows the ideals of retribution. Icor wanted the Ghost Rider dead, but the Ghost Rider did not go down so easily. She put up a good fight and defeated him, turning Icor into a human. All the while, she kept wondering about Blackheart's offer about the Nicaraguan souls. Now, as the heroes faced off against one another, Encephalon, the antithesis of Red Hulk, which was created by Blackheart, succeeded in killing Alejandra. But before she breathed her last, Alejandra destroyed the amulet that was holding the spread of hell back. 
This led to the heroes being taken into the deepest place in hell and getting an audience with Mephisto. Mephisto offered them their lives if they could defeat Blackheart. The heroes managed to free the spirit of vengeance, which was locked away by Blackheart. The original plan was that they would take the spirit and give it to Johnny, turning him into the Ghost Rider. However, during the fight with Blackheart, Venom and Red Hulk are thrown to the side, and that is when Red Hulk is given the symbiote by Flash Thompson. Red Hulk also took in the spirit of vengeance and became the new rider. Now, Alejandra destroyed the amulet in the hopes that Blackheart would give her back the souls of innocence. However, he did not do that. This made Alejandra not want to help him any further. Red Hulk, with his new Ghost Rider powers, was able to bring Blackheart's antithesis, which helped defeat him completely. Once he was defeated, Red Hulk gave the symbiote back to Flash Thompson and the Spirit of Vengeance to Alejandra. X-23 and Flash had already taken Johnny to a safe enough place. And with that, Alejandra decided to leave Las Vegas with one goal in her mind, to get the souls of the innocents out by hook or by crook. Souls of Nicaragua and a new quest. Now Alejandra had still not figured out a way to get the souls back for the innocents that she had wronged. So she decided that it would be for the best to seek out people who can help her. The first person she went after was the Seeker, as the Seeker was the one who gave her the powers. If there was someone who would have been able to get her the souls back, it would have been him. After rudely disrupting his lap dance, Alejandra beheaded the Seeker as an intimidation tactic to get him talking. However, what she learned from him shocked her. The Seeker informed her that the only way she could storm the gates of hell and fight with Mephisto to get the sins back would be if she got a power-up that led her to wiping away the sins of the people in the first place. The only way she can get such a power-up is by going to the person who gave it to her first. And this person is none other than Adam himself. As we delve deeper, we realize that Adam is actually the first man mentioned in the Bible, which is why he is so powerful. Alejandra created a portal and went up to Adam, kidnapping him. She took him to the top of a high-rise building and threatened him to give her the powers that she needed needed to storm the gates of hell, or she will kill him with ease. Adam always wanted to wage war against the kingdom of Mephisto, so he had no qualms about giving her the extra power. On the other hand, Doctor Strange met with Johnny Blaze. It was no secret that Alejandra had betrayed everyone and almost resulted in the Earth being sucked into hell. So because of that, Doctor Strange wanted Johnny Blaze to get her in. Strange opens a portal and suggests that they can also ask other Avengers to join them, but Johnny shoots him in the foot and uses the portal to go where Alejandra is. And where is Alejandra? In Hell, of course. She had shown up in Hell and destroyed everything and everyone in her path to go to Mephisto. Johnny, who is not a spirit or a god, got attacked by a demon the moment he entered the premises of Hell. However, he carried Mephisto's contract with him, and on showing that, the demons let him go about his merry way. When Johnny finally saw Alejandra, the fight between her and Mephisto was at its all-time peak. Mephisto was just about to kill her off when suddenly, Alejandra managed to punch through Mephisto's chest and take his heart. She threatened to squeeze his heart until it popped if she was not given what she wanted. Sensing the terrible situation that he was in, Mephisto handed over the sin to Alejandra. However, instead of giving him his heart back, Alejandra decided that the best way to ensure justice prevailed would be to squeeze his heart and kill him off. However, before she could do that, she was shot by Johnny. It turns out that the contract he had made with Mephisto could be turned into a bullet, and using the bullet, Johnny was able to weaken the spirit of vengeance in Alejandra. In this powerless state, she almost went off the cliff, and while trying to save herself, she dropped the sin of the people of Nicaragua. Johnny tried to talk to her, and Alejandra let the spirit of vengeance go to Johnny before letting go. However, Johnny, who was now the Ghost Rider, jumped in after her and saved her from the fire. Well, kind of. While she did not have the spirit of vengeance in her anymore, some of the powers of the spirit of vengeance remained in her. Her body was charred, and her skin was badly burnt. Johnny knew that Alejandra was still blaming herself for not being able to save everyone from Nicaragua, so Johnny took her to the place and showed her the people. The people were leading happy lives, and with that realization, Alejandra was willing to start a new journey as she was finally able to let go of the guilt, hence closing the chapter. Fight with Carnage With the remnants of power that she had, 
Alejandra began protecting the same village that she had affected. Taking the name of Guardian Fatisma, she did everything that she could to protect the people from anything that might have harmed them. However, there was a villain that she had not been expecting. When Venom used the spirit of vengeance and gave it back to Alejandra, a codex was formed. This codex was basically a bit of Venom symbiote with the spirit of vengeance. Carnage, the psychotic symbiote, had been collecting all the codes from all over the world, and he found himself in Nicaragua wanting Alejandra's codex. Johnny, who was the king of hell, noticed that and sent another ghost rider, Danny Ketch, to help Alejandra. However, in the moment of destruction, Alejandra was stabbed by Carnage and he took the codex from her. Alejandra ended up in Hell, which is specifically for Ghost Riders, and met with Johnny. She explained that she really needed to go back and Johnny, who still had not figured out how to resurrect people, sent Alejandra back by allowing her to possess the body of a local. Once she came back, Alejandra rounded up the villages and threw Molotov cocktails at Carnage, who was now imbued with the powers of the Spirit of Vengeance, making it extremely hard for Danny to defeat him. Danny was about to be killed when Alejandra and the villagers showed up. As his goal was reached, Carnage made a quick retreat, and after bidding Danny goodbye, Alejandra's spirit went back to hell. There, Johnny took her to the place where all Ghost Riders stayed, introducing her to a new family. Alejandra was raised to be the host for the Spirit of Vengeance, so she was already quite trained in that area. Once she became the Ghost Rider, she had all the superhuman abilities that Ghost Riders usually have, like superhuman stamina, superhuman agility, superhuman durability and whatnot. However, the sole reason why she became a Ghost Rider was to do away with sins, so she is able to look into a person and identify how sinful they have been, and if she wants, she can absorb all the sins, leaving them completely emotional. She has regenerative healing, making it extremely difficult for anyone to kill her, unless they have the power of either God or the spirit of vengeance by their side. She can also manipulate the souls of people by reading them and consuming them, if she feels like that is necessary. She can of course control Hellfire and use it in various ways, although only used once, we do see Alejandra change the weather patterns as she traveled. She can also create huge amounts of electricity and use it as an attack. And of course, we cannot forget the Ghost Rider staple, the Penance Stare, where the Ghost Rider can look into someone's eyes and make them relive the pain they have caused for eternity. With such a strong foundation and morals, it is no wonder why Alejandra rose the ranks in fans' eyes as a Ghost Rider. Marvelous Verdict Ghost Rider has always been a series where we deal with quite the nitty-gritty stuff. Alejandra as a character brought a lot of compassion and complex character growth to the table, which we as fans loved. While Johnny Blazer's Ghost Rider never strayed from the oral path, Alejandra was someone who was willing to do what was right by her no matter how bad it made her, and we respect her for that. Hopefully, we will get to see her again, because nobody in the comic book world stays dead. And if you liked our content, Content, don't forget to leave and like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thank you everyone.